Hi everyone, welcome back to bankexamstory.com. This is our day seven of five minutes vocabulary. It means we have done six videos so far. And before uh, moving forward, let me uh, request you to like all the videos. If you like them, just press the like button. If you uh, have any query, just comment your queries. And if you super like them, then share it with your friends who are preparing for bank exams, who are struggling to improve their vocabulary or they are just want to improve their English language skills, right? So, the very first word we have here is a portion. A portion. So, do you uh, think something is familiar here? The word portion. Portion, which means an area, a part. Okay. A portion means you, you divide something and then you share it with someone like here is a circle divided into different colors orange blue yellow green and red then each section will be shared with someone or something like i am uh, sharing it with ram then i'm sharing it with joe then reena so this is how i'm going to divide and share so what is the activity called it is called a portion. The activity of dividing and sharing is called a portion. For example, uh, you are organizing an event in your office. So there are different sections. You have food section, you have entertainment section, you have the gifting section, invitation section. So various sections are there. But you are given a specific budget. This is your budget and you have to manage the event into this budget. So what do you do? you first divide the sections like these are the sections and then you allocate the money to each section that food will uh, cost me this much money entertainment will cost me this much of money this is how you are a portion the activity of dividing and sharing is a portion synonyms and antonyms you can read yourself i don't need to uh, revise it for you i just tell you allocate allocate dividing distributing distribute allocate all the words are similar keep why are we using the word keep because a portion means dividing and sharing but if you don't share you keep it with yourself this is my pen i don't share it with anybody it means i keep it with myself so example is the charity will apportion funds in a manner that will allow it to feed as many people as possible it means charity has funds that it will divide first and then share for the welfare of as many people as it can. The second word is exonerate. Exonerate means you are no longer guilty of a crime. Like for example, there is a famous actor who is blamed for killing an animal, an extinct animal. But the court says that actor did not commit this crime. He is innocent. Then he is exonerated. He is absolved from all the charges, all the blames. He is free to go. No police case, no action from the court, nothing. He is exonerated. So exonerated it means action of officially absolving someone from blame that this is okay this person is innocent let him go the synonyms are acquit discharge immune exempt and indemn so you see this is the thing we used to uh, caught the i think people in jail do wear these things so uh, if they are not wearing this they are free from the crime right so exonerate endonyms convict like this is the person who commit the crime condemn punish and incriminate example is unfortunately the video footage did, does not exonerate bob of the robbery charges it means the video footage is not the a concrete evidence to exonerate to uh, escape bob from the charges of robbery the third word is emanate 
Aminate means to start from something. Like you are very much frustrated from your someone you can say your day is not bad you are frustrated and that frustration turns into anger so your anger emanates from your frustration it means your anger started from frustration so emanate means the starting point of something the origination of something or to be produced by something is produced by something so synonyms are arise originate stem derive or start Antonyms conceal it means you are no longer showing your emotions or no longer showing your growth hold keep take or withdraw examples constant criticism has emanated from her opponents it means her criticism stemmed from her opponents fourth word is persuasive right now i'm telling you you can learn vocabulary it's not that difficult you can do it you can improve your writing skills you can learn anything you want to do so what i am being i am being persuasive i am asking you to do something or believe something so it is called act of persuasion if a person is persuading you or convincing you that you can do something you can believe something that is called persuasive okay you uh, read an article that you find very convincing that all the things written in this article are very quite uh, impressive and you start believing those things that is persuasive some videos on the youtube are very much persuasive It's because they let you believe something they convince you to do something so synonyms are convincing effective okay so they have some kind of effect on you cogent compelling potent forceful eloquent forceful is a negative word and persuasive is a positive word so keep in mind you use them very carefully antonyms important it has no power incapable ineffective example his analysis is in many ways highly persuasive it means his analysis has some very really good points so it is persuasive the last word is accentuate accentuate means to make something noticeable or prominent do you remember when everybody was in school or you used to make notes and whenever you find something which is important you just highlight it like you make a circle and you write important or you just use the highlighter to highlight it that means you are accentuating things to make them more noticeable so when you revise your notebook when you revise your textbook then there comes the point that you highlighted because it is noticeable so you know it's important i have to revise it so accentuating is to exaggerate or highlight the features another example if you have very beautiful eyes you use mascara you use eyeliner to make it look more beautiful or noticeable so that action is called accentuating synonyms are underline under uh, accent feature foreground spotlight or highlight antonyms recede you just uh, reduce the effectiveness moderate lighten reduce example during the programming interview make sure you accentuate your familiarity with the coding languages so accentuate means you make it noticeable to the interview that you can do the coding you know many coding languages to make it noticeable or prominent so this is all about today's video if you like it please press the like button share it with your friends or comment your queries the last thing i want to tell you is to make sentences of all the words you read or learned today if you have made the sentences then drop all your sentences in the comment section so that i can tell you how to improve your sentences okay so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next video till then keep practicing work hard